Hello and welcome to Happy Vending. I'm Bill and today we're going to talk about two-tier pricing. You don't know what two-tier pricing is? Well stay tuned. Happy Vending. So basically two-tier pricing is when you have a credit card reader on one of your vending machines and you charge extra if somebody uses their credit card as opposed to using cash. Personally, as a consumer, I hate two-tier pricing. I don't like it when a business wants to charge extra when you use a credit card. I don't like a gas station that says cash price, credit price, and the credit price is more. It's just bad business sense. Everybody's using credit cards. It's a convenience. Uh, we shouldn't be penalized for using a credit card. Personally, for me, I would rather just increase the price on every item in my machine five cents instead of charging the customer 10 cents extra when they use a credit card. That's me. And for me, I don't have two-tier pricing set on any of my machines. However, people are always asking me, how do you set up two-tier pricing? How do, you, how do you do this? So I figured I'd make this video to show you how it's done. Um, why do people want to know how to charge more for credit card sales? It's because the business, you yourself, you're being charged extra every time somebody makes a credit card sale on your machine. You have to pay the credit card company about 6% for every sale that's done on a credit card. Also, you have to pay your credit card reader company a certain amount every month per machine just for the hookup fee. These things work on uh, cell towers and it's just like having a cell phone plan. You have to pay monthly for it. For mine, and I pay about eight dollars per machine per month to NIAX in addition to the six percent per sale. So I understand why people want to do it but like I said just charge a little bit more for every item than trying to charge extra just for the credit card sales. But if you still want to know how to do it, this is how you do it on a NIAX interface. If you have cantaloupe, don't ask me how to do it because I don't have cantaloupe and I don't know how to do it. You better call your rep and figure out how to activate it. I'm sure it's not hard. It's not that hard to do on NIAX. Here's how you do it. I suggest you do this on the computer. I don't even think you can do it on the phone app. So log into your account and then you're going to want to go to operations, choose machines, and then once it comes up, click on search. You'll see all your machines over on the left. Click on the one that you want to apply to tier pricing. I'm going to do this AP123 snack machine and you have to actually configure this in two different places in order for it to work. I'm going to start first by going up on the top to the payment tab and then if you come down here under payment method you'll see credit card and then you have an option right in here to put an extra charge it says extra charge so if I want to do 10 cents, I just make it like that. If I wanted to do a percentage, I would click on commission percentage and then type whatever percentage I wanted to do, in this case 10%. But I'm not going to do it that way. I'm, I'm going to leave it as 10 cent extra charge, just like that and then I'm going to click on save up here at the top it's important that you save that and you can go back to the payment tab and make sure that's still there but just by doing that will not activate two-tier pricing there is another setting to activate as well so I'm going to go back to the general tab and then I'm coming down here to payment this payment menu is different than the payment menu at the top so click on this and what you're looking for is this EMV price table option here. If you don't see this in your machines, then two-tier pricing is not turned on and you'll have to call NIAX to have this added to your account. 
sometimes when you set up your account with NIAX, they'll ask you if you want to do two-tier pricing. And I believe I originally said, no, I don't want to do it because I don't like two-tier pricing. So this was never an option for me. But when I was going to make this video, I needed to be able to activate it. So I had to call NIAX and then they made this option here available to me so that I could set this up. Now the way it's set up right now is the way you would do it if you don't want to charge anything extra for your sales. The cost is just 100%. That just means it's 100% of the VEN price in the machine and, and that's what it's going to charge. If I want to do a, a commission, a percentage, let's say I want to charge 6% above the cost of the products in the machine, then I would turn this to 106%. But if I were doing that, then I would have to go back to the payment tab and turn that on to commission percentage and make that 6% as well. So this should match with the other one in here is set for. So I'm not doing it that way. I'm going to do it cost plus 10 cents. And in order to do that, I'm going to delete that six and leave this as a 10 and change that percentage to the plus symbol, just like that. And then that means cost plus 10 cents. If I wanted 20 cents, you make that number 20. And I got to go up here and hit save. And that's really what locks it in there. If I went back here, I should see that set up like that. So now I have this cost plus 10% and on this payment tab, I have the extra charge of 10 cents. And now with both of those set up, let's go to the machine and see how this works. Now we're back at the snack machine and the first thing I want to point out here is the reader display is actually saying that there's a 10 cent surcharge. This message can actually be modified to either be turned off and then the user doesn't know at all that they're going to be charged extra, which I don't agree with, or it can be made to say something along the lines of that there's a 10 cent discount for cash, meaning that there's going to be 10 cent more for credit card payments. I'll show you a little bit later how to set up that message. Okay, well, let's try vending in here. I'm just going to purchase these coffee cups that we have for 25 cents here. It's item 138. And if I type in 138 on the machine, it says that it's 25 cents. So I can put in the quarter and then vend 138. Thank you. And there we go. Now let's try purchasing it with a credit card. I have my Visa card here. I'm going to bring it up. Please select the product. 138. Please present your card or your mobile phone. And it's saying 25 cents plus 10 cents. Authorizing. So it's telling you right there on the display that there's going to be a 10 cent surcharge. It says thank you and it says amount charge 35 cents. I'll bend one more time just so that you can see a close up on the display. Present my credit card. Please select the product. Product 138. Please present your card or your mobile phone. You can phone. see on there that it says 25 cents plus 10 cents. Authorizing. Approved. Vending. Thank you. And then there is the final charge, 35 cents, which somebody's not going to be happy paying an extra 10 cents for a coffee cup. Let's go back into the interface and take a look at those three vents that I just did. So we're back in the interface. Let's once again go up to operations, machines, click on search. Your machines will be over here. We'll click on that same snack machine. And then I'm going to go up to info and choose last sales. And here are 
the three sales that I just did in the video. The first one here, the cash sale for 25 cents. That was the first cup I purchased. And then here is the first credit card sale I did. And that's 35 cents. And the second one, 35 cents. So it's showing it's charging that additional 10 cents for the coffee cups. It's telling you over here that it was the cups. Product 138. The other thing I want to show you in here is what the reader displays in regards to two-tier pricing. And that is under this VPOS touch tab. If you open that up and go down to surcharge message, the default message is this little dollar sign and the at symbol. And if you hover over this question mark, it tells you what that will do. It says if you have that, the dollar sign, it will keep the regular behavior showing extra charge on cashless information on the screen when configured extra charge. So it's going to say whatever amount I have, 10 cents surcharge or 5% surcharge. If you put a zero in here, it says the extra charge on cashless information won't appear even if extra charge is configured. So the reader won't show anything even if it's going to charge extra money for a credit sale. And then the other option there is if I put a 1, the extra charge will be shown as a cash discount from the final price. And that message would look like this. That would probably be the message that I would put that it would be a 10 cent discount if you pay in cash. And most vendors do that because once again the credit card companies don't want you charging extra for credit sales so you would put cash discount or prices on the machine represent a cash discount well that's it for this episode hopefully you learned something about two-tier pricing and remember I don't agree with two-tier pricing personally I would never use it but if it's something you want to do and make your customers angry that they're being charged extra for credit card sales then go for it and as always happy vending <laughs>